Okay, look at, let's look at another one and see if we can decide which method would be the best to solve the quadratic. Um, since I've got pretty big numbers here, factoring is not going to be easily done. Um, I would, could use tic tac but no toe possibly and do that, but I believe in this case I would go with the quadratic formula. That's usually my go-to for any um, problem that looks like it might be a little bit harder. So here's my A, here's my B, and here's my C. X equals negative B plus or minus square root B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Sing, row, row, you row your boat. And um, it can help you um, memorize that. So I have negative, negative 13 plus or minus the square root. The B squared is negative 13 squared uh, minus 4 times A, which is 2, times C, which is negative 24. Big old numbers here. All over 2 times A, which is 2. Okay. Okay. So, a negative negative 13 would be 13 plus or minus the square root. Thir negative 13 squared is 169 positive. And then we've got 4 times 2 times 24. Let's see, that's 24 times 8, which is a negative, no, positive 192. A negative times a negative is a positive. All over 4. Okay, take your 192 and add 169 to it. And then we have 13 plus or minus the square root of 361 divided by 4. Okay, so 13 plus or minus, let's see if 361 happens to be perfect. I think it is. Yep, it's 19 over 4. Okay, so my two answers will be... 13 plus 19 divided by 4, and 13 minus 19 divided by 4. All right, so let's see, that's 12, 32 divided by 4, which is 8, and this one is negative 6 divided by 4, which is negative 3 over 2 for my two solutions.